Welcome. This is the Mentally Whole Podcast. I am your host, Lauren Green. This podcast is a safe place for us to have weekly discussions about mental health, Christ, personal development, and the tools to live our best lives. Stay tuned for a new episode. So hey y'all, I am officially back from my hiatus. Um, It feels really weird to be sitting in front of the microphone, but we're going to get back into the rhythm of things and I'm back. So I wanted to give y'all some updates on the show. So going forward, I'll be doing bi-weekly episodes. Um, It'll be easier for me to do two episodes a month versus four episodes a month. I think I was trying to, I don't know, do a lot with four episodes a month and work and do all the other things. I want to still give quality content and be consistent. So I think I can be consistent with this new routine of two episodes versus four I feel like that's a much better and much more feasible, um, feasible content for me to maintain. So I wanted to give you all a little, you know, backdrop of what was going on in August. So in August, if you listen to like the last two episodes that I recorded, you know, I started going back to therapy again with Shonda. Shonda's my therapist. And also in August, I had become a intern supervisor. So that means along with my regular caseload, I have the responsibility and the honor to supervise a student and intern that's in school and grad school right now. So it was a lot going on in August. Um, Also in August, what else happened? My friend um recently got engaged and so I have been helping her with planning her wedding which is coming up very soon um I think in August it was just a lot of moving pieces and also in Maryland school started up around that time too so it was just a lot going on in my little head like being a supervisor back in therapy School starting, so school starting kind of threw off my whole routine. You know, I was walking regularly in August and school just threw me for a loop. Like, I just feel like a lot of things are happening in August. I needed to, like, figure out how to adjust because if you know, I am a school-based therapist. So, I work with kids in a school, in a school setting. So having to like be back in the school you know I haven't been inside of a school since uh what it was in March 13 2020 that was the last day that I was in the school building so being back was a lot to adjust to you know and being a supervisor and in you know in this healing journey you know that I call therapy it was just a lot going on you know um and this go around with therapy I'm really like doing the work I'm really like you know getting my money's worth so to speak in therapy this time because the first time I went um it was more so just to get like the experience of therapy but this time the second go around like I'm really you know doing the work doing the homework assignments really reflecting really addressing what's going on with me um so it's been really helpful um so for this episode this episode probably won't even be that long um because I'm coming back (laughs) so I have just a few you know revelations you know during my hiatus time so I thought about this one I didn't write this one down but I thought about this one as I sat down that rest rest is important rest rest sleeping rest is important for your body right I just felt like taking these two months I didn't realize like 
how much I was actually doing. So even though I was working from home, you know, I still had a full caseload. I still had, whew, sorry y'all, I still had a full caseload and still trying to produce content, still trying to record episodes, still trying to have a social life, still trying to date, like, it was a lot, like, it was, I realized I was doing a lot, and my body needed to rest, right, even though I really, you know, even though I really tossed back and forth about taking a break, you know, looking back, like, I really did need a break, um, and one of the things that I've also been experiencing pretty heavily is brain fog, um, I looked it up, they said if, well, this is for COVID survivors, people who had COVID, um, can suffer from brain fog, but I never had COVID, um, and they're saying that brain fog, um, is one of, like, one of the lasting, um, lasting effects of the pandemic because when everything shut down our brain immediately went into okay we have to adjust mode and that also plays a part in the brain fog part of it too but yeah so I'm glad that I took the rest because one of the things that I was struggling with a lot um was brain fog and like forgetting being forgetful um feeling like really just hazy and not able to concentrate, you know, back in August. Um, I also took my first staycation back in August. Uh, I rented myself a hotel room and just relaxed. I slept, like, a lot during that staycation. Like, rest is just important. And we don't do, we don't have to earn rest. Rest is necessary, um, it's beauty, there's the beauty in just being, not having to do anything, but just being you and being yourself. The next thing I learned since I've been gone for like two months, uh, working on myself is a, is a number one priority. So if I'm not well, I'm probably not producing good content anyway, right? Because I started to realize that I was becoming um, very apathetic. Um, that's something else that I learned. If you listen to another episode, there was a term that I used. I don't remember what it is, but there was a term that I used um, about like you're not really depressed. You're not really you're not really depressed, but you're not really like severely like struggling with your mental health, but you become very apathetic. So I realized that I was becoming very apathetic, apathetic about a lot of different things, you know, in my life and taking that break just helped me put things, put things in perspective and really realize like, okay, this is what I want to work on. This is what I want to do moving forward. But I would have known that I wouldn't have known that if I didn't take a two-month break, right? The next thing that was important during this two-month break is to practice what I preach. So, you know, I'm in therapy now. There's no shame in that. And one of the things that, you know, my therapist told me was that I need to practice what I preach. Like, you know, I know, you know, all these wonderful things and, um, you know, most of the things that we talk about the thing most things I talk about in therapy and the advice that she gives most of the time I know it but it just comes to the matter of practicing what I preach right so you know it's been a lot of that practicing what I preach you know setting boundaries um advocating for myself sticking up for myself addressing um, having the tough conversations, being uncomfortable, like sitting in those uncomfortable feelings, like all of these things I've told people before, but I have to practice it for myself. Crazy, right? So the last thing that I've learned is that certain certain cycles are going to continue until I address until I address the root issues, right? So one of the things that I'm learning in therapy is that I have to address certain cycles and certain patterns and I can only do that until I get to the bottom of it and certain things will probably stop continuing because I'm learning 
new skills. I'm learning new ways to cope with things. So, you know, the old me, you know, the old version of me will probably be non-existent very soon. And the new version of me will be coming out because I'm learning, you know, new skills. I'm not just doing things the same because I'm learning that, you know, certain things in my life were toxic and weren't good and I was doing things that weren't healthy. But, you know, I'm trying to communicate better, trying to flourish, trying to grow, trying to be out here thriving. Okay? Thriving. Um, so yeah, therapy is really helping me to address, you know, unhealthy behaviors and unhealthy patterns. Um, I might do an episode about that soon i don't know but we'll see um but that's all i really wanted to say i'm back i hope y'all miss me i miss y'all um let me know how you guys let me know how you feel about this episode and see y'all in two weeks bye